Hello everybody and welcome to the channel. If you're new here, please click on like and subscribe. If you've been here before, welcome back. Today we'll be cleaning the X-Tool Laser D1. Now you may or may not have the air assist on yours. I have the air assist, so the first thing I'm going to do is remove the air hose that goes to the laser. After that, we're going to unloosen the tab that raises the height of it. Slide it straight up and out. When you turn it over on the back, you'll see this little harness. Take the harness, push the little tab, and the harness will unplug from that, and that way your laser is separated from your unit. Now, depending on how often you use your laser, you may have to do this every day, every other day, every week. Um, as you can see mine, this is two days worth of use on mine. I've been burning a lot of resinous wood, so I've got a lot of buildup in mine. Uh, so I'm going to show you how to take this thing apart now. So you should have a couple Allen tools come with your uh, X-Tool D1. If not, this is a 1.5 millimeter Allen wrench. Uh, we're going to loosen up the shield around it. This is the vision shield on it. Some people have thrown these away. Um, I've still got mine on there. Uh, loosen these up, but they don't have to take them all the way out. Just loosen them to the point where you can slide the shield out. The next thing I want to do on mine is unloosen my air assist. Again, yours may not have the air assist on it, so you may not have to do this step. Once I get that out, the orange cover will slide right up and off. If not, check your screws and loosen them up a little bit more. As you can see by the resin buildup on the inside of it, um, you need to clean this off again. It can hit your project, scrape along it, leave bad marks across your project. The tip of it you can see also is covered with uh, resin. Uh, we're going to clean that off real good. I'm going to remove this again. If you do not have the air assist, you will not have this on your laser. Once I remove this, this is a 2.5 millimeter wrench. That may be what you have if you don't have the air assist. I've got another video on here that shows how to install the air assist. If you get one of these, I highly recommend it. It made a big difference in how clean it cut my projects. Now we're going to use isopropyl alcohol to clean this. It's like 99% alcohol. That way it evaporates, doesn't leave any residue behind. I'm going to need a few cotton swabs, a couple of rags, and basically start cleaning it up. You want to use a cotton swab and clean off your laser, clean off all the modules around it and just spray the alcohol on the cotton swab. Do not spray the alcohol on the unit itself. Make sure you wipe the fins off and get down in between the fins with the cotton swabs. Cleaning down in between those fins, a lot of resin builds up. That's where your cooling is for your laser. So that'll help keep the laser cooler, keep it working better. Pretty much the same thing around the cooling fan. Spray the Q-tip, not the laser itself, and get in there and clean as much as you can away from the fan. That way the fan spins freely. If there's buildup on the fan, that'll slow the fan down, and again, it won't cool off as easily. Uh, the more you do this, the longer life you're going to have out of your laser. Uh, just clean up every little piece and part in there that you can, and make sure it should come right back to a shiny finish. Now, as you can see by the goop on that, there's a lot of stuff that builds up inside this little laser module. Again, this was two days of laser use. So if you haven't done yours in a while, yours may look worse than that. Make sure you clean the inside of the air nozzle off. Most of the time, since the air is pushing down through here, it doesn't get a lot of resin built up into it since there's air actually pushing through. But you still want to make sure the tip is clear on both sides. That way the laser passes through it without having to go through resin or anything like that, which may decrease your uh, laser burn. Then once I get all the major stuff off of it, I'm going to go back with a nice clean rag, go over it, polish everything up, check your rag. If your rag is still dirty, um, redo whatever part's dirty. And when you're cleaning your shield off, make sure you don't use goo gone, gum out, anything like that on this. The plastic will fall apart or melt on you. So basically the same thing, isopropyl alcohol, uh, spray the rag, not the part, and then just wipe this out as best you can. After a few seconds, the resin will start to break loose and it'll come clean. It should look like new when you get done with it. And just like all the other parts, once you're done getting all the gooey stuff off, get you a clean rag and wipe it down again. If there's anything left on it, spray it, clean it again until it's perfectly clean or as clean as you want to make it. Now this is optional. If you have access to an air compressor, blow everything out. Now this is set to like 15, 20 pounds of pressure. There's not a lot of air blowing through there. I'm not blasting it out. But you just want to make sure all the alcohol is dry and there are no other pieces of debris. 
So we're going to reassemble this basically the way you took it apart. Put my air nozzle on first. And you'll see a couple of little dents in the plastic cap. That's where your set screws go at. So make sure you turn it so you keep sending it in there. It will fit the other direction, but you've already got a couple of dents where the set screws are. You may as well put it back the way you had it. This should slide down in there fairly easy. Once you get it down in there, tighten your two screws. Don't over tighten them and crack your lens, just snug them up. Then I'm going to screw my air assist back in and then we're ready to put it back on the machine. So the next step is opposite of what we did to take it off. We're going to take this harness, we're going to plug it in. When you plug this in, make sure that little clip catches. You should hear it click. If not, just make sure it's pushed down and pull back up gently on it to make sure it doesn't pop right back off of there. If you can hold on to the wire. And again, you'll kind of hear it click in place. It kind of takes both fingers. Um, got big fingers, it doesn't work very well. Slide the harness back up through the little holder. Make sure you rotate the laser, check your wiring harness and make sure it's flat. You don't want to have that coiled up three or four times. It'll just kind of bunch up or you might actually pull the wires tight when you're trying to close the laser. Slide the laser back down in the hole, tighten down the latch. And the last thing I'm going to do is put my air hose back on for my air assist. And this should just push back down through the holder and then back down into the hose. It doesn't click in place, doesn't lock in place, it just slides in. The last thing we want to do is make sure we have free play all the way across our laser. So check your cables, make sure the cables reach all the way to the side, all the way to the back. Basically just do a square around your unit and make sure there's nothing binding and know where the wire is catching. That way you don't just start a project and find out your wire is too short and uh, cause some damage. And that's all there is to cleaning a laser X-Tool D1. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please click on like and subscribe.